Okay, so we're just looking at the levator scapulae muscle. This muscle is one of these muscles that when I have soft tissue patients and I'm working in this area, they're always going, what's that lump? What's clicking? That's exactly where the pain is. It's a funny little muscle because it doesn't have a tendon attachment onto the bone here. It actually attaches directly so we can get small micro tears when there's a lot of pressure put on it. And so we can feel the levator scapulae attachment point here at the medial border of the scapula and then it attaches up into C1, 2, 3, 4 and so there's a lot of tension going up in this line into the base of the neck and it's often a muscle that's strained quite a lot when people are spending a lot of time in front of a computer screen or particularly on the right hand side when they're using a mouse. So to stretch this area out, again, we need to go to the door frame and I'll demonstrate, this, demonstrate the stretch there. Having looked at the levator scapulae, its origins and insertions, this is the best way I find to stretch this muscle. Again, it's very similar to the pec stretch in the door frame, but this time you just need to use one arm. I'm demonstrating the right arm because this is most commonly the side that's injured due to mouse use and the poor positioning of the mouse pad. So very simply, arm at 90 degrees, just drop your neck forward and then just rotate to the left along the line of the collarbone and you'll feel a lovely stretch coming all the way up into the upper cervical spine and into that point at the levator scapulae muscle. And again, for this stretch, it'd be a nice stretch to hold for a minimum of 30 seconds.